Hello and welcome to the Chestron series on low E valve packing installation. This is part three of a four part series where we are going to talk about bolt tightening and the importance of creating a good seal. I am Ron Frizzard and let's get started. Valve packing seals because of a specific gland load. That is the force the gland puts on the packing. Each manufacturer will have a specific value that will be based on the pressure of the valve and how the packing is made. That number will either be in pounds force or kilograms. The issue is taking that value and turning it into a torque. Torque is a mechanical process that has inherent errors based on efficiencies. These errors are with an estimate of friction between the nut, washer, and bolt. First, realize a torque value that you might get from somewhere was based on a nut factor of an antices. If it is not the antices that you're using, you have just added an error. The best way to handle this is use a calculator that specifically calls out a nut factor to be used. And while we are on that subject, make sure your antices they're using has a nut factor. Some do not. Another issue is the studs themselves. Used bolting, even that has been chased, will still not give you a perfect friction on tightening. The more critical the application is, the more scrutiny you should have on the bolting. In critical applications, it should always be a good idea to replace the bolting or bolts. Remember, a torque wrench will still click when it reaches the limit of the torque, but it will not guarantee that it's at the correct gland load. Okay, let's talk about washers for a minute. Not all washers are created the same. First, when do you need washers? All the time. Without a washer under a bolt, you can get 30% error in torque because of an unsmooth surface at the top of the gland and the bottom of the nut. The type of washer is important. If it is not hardened, they will slightly deform taking away needed gland load that could result in leaks of the valve. anti c should be put on everything. Start with the threads in the inside threads of the nut. Then apply anti c's on the bottom of the nut and top of the flat washer. There are two sides of a nut. The smooth side without the letters should be put up against the washer. That's it for this segment. See you next time and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.